Number 1 Lake Pendo Ryle. Idaho's largest lake is surrounded by national forests, making it extremely picturesque. The 38,000 hectare lake also happens to be the fifth deepest lake in the country, boasting clean water and magnificent scenery. Lake Pendo Ryle was formed during the Ice Age and resembles the shape of an ear, which can be seen from the Pendo Ryle Scenic Byway and State Highway 200. Nearly all of its 178-kilometer shoreline is made up of mountains. Number 2 Bear Lake This natural freshwater lake sits at the Idaho-Utah border and is equally split between the two states. The magnificent Bear Lake National Wildlife Refuge is on the Idaho side, which is home to sandhill cranes, white faces ibis, swans, geese, moose, mule deer and muskrats. Bear Lake is famous for its spectacular turquoise color, giving it the nickname the Caribbean of the Rockies. Number 3 Lake Coeur d'Alene The very north end of this natural lake sits in the city of Coeur d'Alene, with the city and the lake being named after the Coeur d'Alene people. The 40-kilometer-long lake stretches across two counties in northern Idaho and features 175 kilometers of shoreline. The lake was formed by the Missoula floods over 12,000 years ago and today is fed by the Coeur d'Alene and the St. Joe. Number 4 Redfish Lake Sitting at an elevation of 1,996 meters, Redfish Lake is one of the most beautiful lakes in Idaho, what with the mountain peaks that frame it. The lake sits at the base of the Sawtooth Mountains in the Sawtooth National Recreation Area. Redfish Lake gets its name from the brilliant sockeye salmon that used to swim around it. Number 5 Priest Lake this stunning lake sits in the northernmost portion of the Idaho Panhandle and extends for 31 kilometers. The 11,000 hectare is separated into two areas, Lower Priest and Upper Priest, with the former being the primary lake. Priest Lake dates back to the last ice age nearly 10,000 years ago. Since then it has played an important role in the logging industry, as well as being a popular destination. Number 6 Lake Cascade Pegged the mile-high playground, Lake Cascade is a playground for nature lovers, especially anglers. It is well stocked with smallmouth bass, trout, kokanee salmon, and coho salmon. The 12,200 hectare lake is home to the Lake Cascade State Park, which features over 2,000 campsites for visitors to enjoy. It also offers hiking, bird watching, snowmobiling and skiing, as well as having a boat ramp. Number 7. Stanley Lake this beautiful alpine lake can be found at the base of the Sawtooth Mountains, just northwest of Redfish Lake. It sits within the Sawtooth National Recreation Area, at 1,985 meters above sea level. There are three separate camping grounds surrounding the lake, all of which have a day-use area, hiking trails, and a boat launch. They also feature a swimming area and picnic areas, while offering canoeing and boating in the lake itself. Number 8, Henry's Lake. This stunning mountainous lake sits at an elevation of 1,973 meters above sea level. Henry's Lake is located on the southwest side of the Henry's Lake Mountains in the Karabutargi National Forest. It is not a large lake, being 2,100 hectare, but it is extremely picturesque thanks to its surroundings and its color. In addition to the mountains, the lake's shoreline is also home to the Henry's Lake State Park and Frome Park, while the Continental Divide Trail skirts the north end of it. Number 9, Alice Lake. This is largest lake in the Sawtooth Wilderness, which is a federally protected wilderness area within the Sawtooth Mountains. The Alpine Lake sits at an elevation of 2,622 meters above sea level. Alice Lake's surroundings makes it exceptionally beautiful and serene, attracting photographers of all levels from all over the globe. This makes up for the lake's lack of water activities, which is due to the fact that it often stays frozen well into the summer. Number 10, Sawtooth Lake. Sawtooth Lake sits in the Sawtooth Mountains at an elevation of 2,571 meters. The lake is accessible via the Iron Creek Trailhead and Campground, which is an 8-kilometer hike. The Alpine Lake remains frozen right into July thanks to its high elevation. This means that it does not offer much in terms of recreational activities other than hiking and camping. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.